There are just a few great products that are built in this world so far. Why aren't there more of them? As a company that helps our customers build products for a living, we wanted to find an answer to that. And the answer we found is product tiering. Why cannot we build great products consistently time and again? What does it take to build good software? Once again, the answer is product tiering. Product tiering is essentially a way to build software better and faster. Product tiering has four tenets, as you can see here, principles, practices, people, and platforms. We have essentially analyzed and taken all our experiences of building over 1,000 plus releases for our customers and figured out what are the secret ingredients that it takes to build products better and faster. I just want to walk through product tiering in a little more detail and give you a flavor of what it takes to build products better and faster. If you look at principles, let me first take principles and talk about them for a little bit. Principles are the basic philosophies through which you need to use for building your products and software day in and day out. For example, time, budget and scope. The key element to successful software is getting it out there in the market on time and on budget. But at the same time, it means that when you're focused on time and budget, certain times you might have to compromise on scope to make sure that the product reaches the market on time and you get customer feedback. Another aspect of principle, which is almost a fundamental philosophy, is the habit of talking extensively to end users of the product day in and day out during development. And, and this is only possible if you get a working version of your software out to customers immediately, as quickly as you can, in an agile, iterative manner. The second aspect, as you can see up here, is practices. As a team of 400 or 500 people uh, within Aspire, the question is, how do every one of our people, every one of our developers, every one of our engineers, follow certain fundamental best practices to build software? In the manufacturing world, in the pharmaceutical world, there are good manufacturing practices. Why aren't there good engineering practices in the software world? Software has been there for 30, 40 years, but still there has not been a set of good published engineering practices that are followed throughout a large development team. We have taken the effort to make sure that good engineering practices such as code reviews, automatic build tools, automatic unit testing tools, every single aspect is used during development by every single engineer so that fundamental quality is assured through the software development process. Other aspects of good engineering practices include the proper use of architectural standards, proper and sound usability principles, proper testing aspects. All of these are rolled into the product tiering practices pillar or product tiering practices tenet that we have. The third aspect of product tiering is how do we prepare our people to ensure that they apply the principles and the practices in day-to-day -day work. We can have certainly great principles, we can have great practices, but what if we are not able to get all of our people to uniformly apply them? So the key element of product tiering is to focus on our people and ensure that they're able to apply these practices and principles in their day-to-day -day work. We have an extensive program called as Impact Training, which enables each person who enters our company to ensure that they go through a few months process on digesting and understanding these principles and practices and ensuring that they apply it in their day-to-day -day work. To begin with, of course, we have very rigorous selection standards. And once a person goes through these principles and practices and impact training, they become what we call as a product tier. And product tiers are one of the key aspects of ensuring that successful products are built. And that is the third aspect of product tiering, is the focus on people and making sure that they're groomed to deliver high quality, great products repeatedly and consistently. Now, let me spend a minute on a fourth aspect of product tiering, which is about platforms. Platforms are the fundamental building blocks that can be used to accelerate product development. In the automotive world and the manufacturing world, platforms are a fundamental way of doing business. But unfortunately, in software, platforms have not yet taken off. In our case, we have several platforms that we have built in that we call as Propel to accelerate product development and to get software built better and faster. For example, we have a platform called as Propel SaaS that has all the foundational elements that are required to build software as a service software better and faster. For example, things like multi-tenancy, roles, permissions management, and several other aspects are there in these foundational accelerators 
so that customers' products can get to market better and faster. So together between all of this and the other aspect of platforms is about Prism. We have a, a platform called as Prism, which is used to accelerate and manage the entire process of doing software. Now that I have talked to you about the multiple aspects of product tiering, I definitely encourage you to come and try us out and see how we can help you build your products better and faster. Maybe it sounds too good to be true, but you never know until you try us out.